Hey, so, I haven't done a video blog in quite some time. Well, that was mostly because I've been in a little bit of a transitionary uh, period with my computers. Um, as you, some of you may know, um, I was using this Dell E515 uh, laptop. Now, this was a good computer. It was a trusted computer. I use it every day, pretty much as a desktop computer. Uh, the only problem is it's running Windows Vista. Now, I know I did some reviews on Windows Vista, said it was pretty good. And I, I still will say that for a Windows operating system, Windows Vista is a major step above Windows XP. And would never go back to Windows XP. But however, um, for a lot of the stuff that I need to do, um, a Mac and would better suit me. And I've, I've known this for a long time. I didn't get the uh, iMac when I got this Dell because I couldn't afford it at the time, but now my financial situation is a little bit different and I can afford it. I did pick up the 20-inch uh, iMac earlier this month and it is, well, amazing, I must say. And along with that, I got an iPod, um, which is this right here, along with these headphones, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, the iMac, the iMac comes with a lot of great software. And uh, the software is, you know, a lot better than the software that comes pre-installed on the Windows computer by far. But there are some things where you do need um, some additional software. And for me, that's um, the stuff that Adobe provides in their software. So I did um, go out and pick up the Adobe um, Master Collection, CS3 Master Collection. And this uh, includes all the programs pretty much that Adobe makes. Um, so the ones I mainly needed were uh, Premiere Pro for video editing. Um, I know on Mac there's the Final Cut Studio, but since I've already taken the time to learn Premiere Pro, which is another professional grade uh, video editing suite, I said I'd stick with that. And then um, Photoshop, of course, and Dreamweaver for the website. So, and it also comes with a lot of other great applications, which I'm sure I'll learn now that I have them. And so that I just got today. Um, very excited to get it. I finally finished a website which I've been working on for a long time for a uh, insurance company in the area. Um, now that I have Dreamweaver. And then what also I got today were a pair of uh, Edimodic or Edimodic, I don't know how to say it, um, headphones or earphones actually. They're in the ear. I'll, I'll hold them up close here. They've got some silicone flanges. Um, which seal them in the air. Basically, they just go in like that. Um, they retail for $149. These three flange um, ear tip, they block out about 34 to 36 decibels of sound, which is a lot. Uh, if you've um, ever looked into sound canceling or noise canceling headphones before, the, one, the big ones that go over the ear, those only only do about 20 decibels of sound. This is almost twice that. Um, the way those work is they have a microphone and it records the sound, the ambient noise, and then it plays back a reverse sine wave of that sound, effectively canceling out the sound. The way these work is they physically just seal up the ear, just like an earplug. I have some earplugs that I use when drumming and they have exactly that same three flange design and it does a very good job of blocking out sound, um, or at least the damaging sounds. Um, it also comes with some additional tips, a uh, larger size two, two flange, smaller two flange, and these, these foam ones that uh, expand to fit the ear canal, but those are a disposable tip. So those are basically if the normal ones don't fit, because the normal ones aren't going to provi provide the best sound isolation, and they do fit me quite well since um, I'm quite used to wearing a very, very similar shaped um, earplug So for the last nine years of my life, so I'm very comfortable with those. And they also um, 
come with little filters that go on the inside and this little tool to remove them. I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to replace those too often because it only does come with two replacement filters and they're like 15 bucks to order a few more from the website so I don't really want to do that. Um, but yeah, they, I mainly got them for drumming and if I want to listen to music and drum along to it in the past the only way I could do that is play it over loudspeakers and crank it up really really loud. Um, if I use traditional um, headphones that didn't work or if I use the normal like iPod earbuds didn't work. I mean, I couldn't hear the music over the drumming even with it turned all the way up. Which, at that point, it's doing damage to your eardrums anyway. So with these, I can drum loud, not damage my ears, and play the uh, uh, music at a comfortable volume level. So, um, it seems all like what I would need. And um, also, it comes with a little carrying case. I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm probably going to just keep them wrapped around my iPod Nano. But, it's nice that they come with that. And they should come with a carrying case for $150. Um, I guess that's about it. The iPod I didn't actually pay anything for because I got a $199 rebate from Apple for that too, for being a student. So the only thing I really paid for was this iMac. And if you're wondering about the Apple's rebates and if they're if you ever ever actually get them, well I purchased this uh, iMac on August August 7th, which is the day they released the new ones, and I sent in the uh, mail-in rebates the next day, and I just received my rebate check uh, yesterday, which was August 24th. So they do, in fact, come quite quickly, actually. So um, I would definitely give Apple's rebate um, service a, you know, thumbs up, five stars, or whatever. It's none of that waiting six months to get your rebate check. So, um, that's about all for this video blog. Um, hope you still come to the site. I know I haven't been updating it in a while, but uh, now that I've got Dreamweaver on my Mac, I'm going to be updating it a lot more. Because, really, the, the only reason I wasn't updating it is, is because I have this trial version of Dreamweaver on my, my laptop. You know, trial free download from Adobe's site. And, um, well, it expired. And also, I really just don't want to go use that computer. I know I could uninstall it and figure out a way to reinstall it and get another 30 day trial. But, um, I just really do not want to go back to the Windows environment. Like I said before, I wouldn't go back to Windows XP after using Windows Vista. I definitely wouldn't go back to Windows Vista after using Mac OS X, um, 10.4, which is Tiger. Um, so that's pretty much why now I should be coming up with a lot more content. Also, um, I should have some more videos coming up as well as website blog updates. So keep tuned, uh, keep coming back and looking for more.